Yeah, I think it's it's a competition that comes ar- comes around a little bit quickly. Uh, so we've had to tailor the training a little bit this week just to make sure that we we'll play the game with fatigue in our legs, no doubt, because it's pre-season. Uh, I'm sure Saint Man will be the same. I think the biggest thing out of the game is that that we get a good physical workout with no injuries. That's that's important. It's also important to to try and win the game because we want to go as far as we can in the competition. I think the players who did so well from the last season deserve the chance to do it again. Uh, we're always looking in the market if we can try and find one or two that, that will help the squad. We, we'll continue to look, but we don't we don't feel the the urgency of going out into the market and chasing people to try and to try and help us. If they turn up, then they turn up. That's great. If not, then we go with what we had last season. We'll also be strong and hopefully good enough. What we did last season is, is history. It's behind us. We, we have to do the same again next season. We have to obviously we have to try and start better than the team started last year. Uh, we need a quicker start. We need to as quickly as possible find the the rhythm and the momentum that we had as a team. Uh, but that's easier said than done. It's easy sitting here to say that we're going to do that. It's much more difficult on the pitch. It's certainly the earliest I've ever come back for pre-season. Never been back for a pre-season in June in my life, so that was early. Uh, I understand the concept around why they want to do it. It gives a chance for the, the lower league clubs to maybe pick up a little bit of gate money, uh, so that's good. But there are little tweaks and bits that they could do to help the, the clubs to prepare for the pre-season as well. They could give, maybe give us five subs instead of three which means that you're not risking players playing 90 minutes too early in the season. Normally you build up through your, your pre-season friendlies, so they, there are little tweaks that could maybe help the competition. But like I said before, we're in it, so we'll try and, we'll try and do our best. We're as ready as we can be for the match. Uh, like I said before, we go out to try and, win the, try and win the game. If you can win your first game, it makes the rest of the group a little bit, a little bit more comfortable. So we, we'll, we'll do our best. Yeah, and they also had the unfortunate incident where they, they lost a pre-season friendly last week against Bolton, which would, would probably have been a, an important game for Ireland to see his team playing, uh, playing a match. They've made a lot of changes over the summer. I think they've, they've brought seven or eight players in. Uh, they've lost a few players. They've obviously lost their manager, Jack Ross, from last season. So, it's a diff- In terms of what you expect from St Mirren, it's a difficult game to read. Uh, but I know what to expect from my team. And as long as they give me that, then I'll be, I'll be happy. Well, Mikel's a young player with, a, with hopefully a big future in front of him. Uh, he gives us a little, something a little bit different up front. He's good power and pace, but he's only 19. You know, He's a young boy, so we're not putting too much pressure on the, the lad. He's coming up here for experience. He'll get experience up here. I know he's enjoyed his time so far working with us, and, and we've enjoyed having him up till now. Uh, he will make a contribution throughout the, the first part of the season, and, and we look forward to seeing what he can do. It's a good signing for us. He was excellent towards the end of last season, settled in, left centre-back, did very, very well. And I'm a little bit surprised that nobody else came and, and tried to take him off us. But we're delighted to get the deal done and we look forward to helping Stuart to become an even better player next season. That is, is good. I think it shows the fact that myself and Alex have come in here and we've, we've built a, a good team spirit among the lads. Uh, they enjoy their work day to day. I think they enjoy coming to to work every day and and if you have that and you're happy at your work then performances tend to follow so that's what we'll, we'll aim to do this season. Well, I wouldn't have signed it if I wasn't happy. <laughs> now, it's a good deal, it's a, listen it's, it's obviously financially it's a, a better deal for me and it's a better deal for the club because there's more protection for the club in it so they were happy to offer it, they actually offered it at the end of last season, it just took, a, took the summer to settle down to get it signed. Uh, but they were happy, I was happy, so let's move on and see if we can keep working well together. Yeah, we will look. Uh, I won't just go out and bring someone in for the sake of it. Uh, obviously, I have to fill my squad up. I need, I need my squad to be, to be strong and ready for, the, for a long, hard season. So if we can find those one or two players that, that we're looking for, then that would be great. If we could sell a few more season tickets, maybe it would go up a little bit. That would be nice. Uh, if we could get a little bit more guaranteed income, then maybe I'll get a little bit more for the budget, which will help us to chase, like I said, those one or two targets that will will help to make the squad even better.